getting started on our dreams. It's powerful, this one. Getting started on our dreams. You know, when we can uh, wake up to the, the fact that we are dreaming, in fact, we, we call this reality a, a, uh, a, a virtual reality. <laughs> You know, everything is very serious in this realm of, of awareness. We like to attach ourselves to almost everything. And when and once we're attached to these things, we like to convince ourselves that we have meaning. Or we like to convince ourselves that we attach ourselves because it's relevant. You know, meaning and relevant. You know, there's such a different you know, truth to meaning and relevant, relevance to compassion and love. You know, when we're compassionately in love, we, we can understand that having meaning is only temporary. You know, meaning is temporary. We might have meaning in this moment, but then it can be taken away from us in the next moment. However, when we feel compassion towards devoting ourselves to love we will always be constantly reminded what's trying to take us or sever that connection to the to the um to the infinite possibilities of our true existence or our true identity when we start to align ourselves with love we will understand that the, the, the distractions in our lives were only guiding us up until this present moment We'll all be given a choice in life and the choices that we make will, will predict and, and predict the, the reality of our, our, of our existence. And there's, there's no denying the fact that we are predictable human beings. We're, we're being programmed in order to uh, follow a, an agenda of um, the separation of the, the true self. And the way we're walking is, is only creating a false image to the true self. If you can create a false image within someone's sense of uh, awareness and you can feed that self-image on, um, on, you know, sort of jealousy, hatred, um, yeah, jealousy and hatred. The way that we will uh, start to look out into the world is we will start to look at the world with the uh, with the essence of dissatisfaction. Because if we're being programmed to believe that the essence of this reality only exists within a you know competitive, toxic, suffering state of awareness. We will always try and get away from that and find comfort in our own happiness or our, our own self-obsessions. And the truth is, is that we've been mass, massly distracted from our true reality, which is being that we're all interconnected and we're all coming from the same source of existence. And within that source of existence, there is a spark of light or love within each and every one of us, which has the potential to connect back to its originality. Now, everyone has their own beliefs and, and that's what's limiting is because what is belief is the only the, the essence of, of restricting our point of attention within this reality. As belief is limited, Whereas the essence of existence comes from truth. <laughs> and truth is the most powerful um, awareness that we can resonate within. And the beautiful thing about truth is that it's interconnected with love. So love is essentially truth and truth is love. So once we align ourselves with love, and this can be self-love, it can be love with another human. However, it does start to get dangerous. <laughs> Self-love will, will connect to self-truth and self-truth will align ourselves with our true originality, freeing us from any point of suffering or point of neglect.